told Mr. Mackenzie that you called Mr. Kim. Right. No, he's not in yet. He's had a hectic schedule the last couple of days. Look, I'll make sure that he tries to get back to you today. Okay? Thanks. Bye. Oh, I'll be right with you. Please have a seat. Matt McKenzie's office. Yes, that's right. Sign each of the forms, have them notarized, and get them back to us as soon as possible. Then we'll process them immediately. I'll make sure Mr. McKenzie sees them as soon as they arrive. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry, the bell goes off early around here. Can I help you? I'd like to see Mr. McKenzie. Do you have an appointment? No, but he'd want to see me. I assume it's personal. Why don't you call back later and I'll check with him for a definite time. Oh, when do you expect him? Oh, I wish I knew. He's been on the go a lot. Who shall I say drop by? Oh, my name really wouldn't mean anything to him. Well, you can tell him Paige Matheson. Okay, are you sure you don't want to leave any message? No. No, I'll try later. Matt McKenzie's office. Oh, hi, Michael. No, he's not in yet. I have no idea when he's coming in today. You want to leave a message? Uh-huh. Right. Hi, Ted. How are you? Sorry I'm late. I got held up at county court as usual. Hi. Hi. Is this Mac McKenzie's house? Sure. Oh, I mean, yes. <laughs> Is he here? I don't... No. No. Oh, I was wondering when you might be expecting him. Well, I'm never really sure. Usually after work. Soon. Uh... Would you like to come in and wait? Thanks. Okay. I keep missing him at his office. Yeah. Uh, are, you, are you a friend of Max or something? Well, I've never met him. I just need to see him. Oh, you like him. He's a great guy. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Can I offer you something? A juice, soft drink, anything? No, I'm fine. Sure are. Is this a picture of him? Uh, yeah, that's, that's Mac and my mom. You have a lovely house. Thanks. My mom recently redid it. Good taste. Yeah. I'm not keeping you from anything, am I? Oh, no, no, not at all. I'd enjoy keeping you company. <laughs> so tell me, did you study in Paris for a long time, or...? Two summers. I'm not very good at languages, but living in France, you learn very quickly if you want to survive and not starve. Say, <laughs> <laughs> habla espanol? No. <laughs> well, I took a little Spanish in high school. No, only French. I was enough of a killer. Well, <laughs> Karen? Hey, Mac. Hey, man. Is your mother home? Oh, no, I thought she'd be at Lotus Point this afternoon. Uh, she was supposed to fill out some forms by 3 o'clock. I was supposed to meet her for lunch. She didn't show up. Peggy, yeah. Did you hear from Karen? No, let them wait. Take care. Yeah, take a message. Tomorrow. And go home. Thank you. Oh, Mac, Mac. I want you to meet somebody. This is... This is Paige. Hi, Paige. Hello. Okay. Well, she's been waiting to see you. Waiting to see me? Yes. I've wanted to meet you for some time. Oh? Uh, I'm your daughter. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> What? His daughter. <laughs> What's this, some kind of joke? No. Sit down. You're Anne's daughter. Yes. And yours. How old are you? Nineteen. You don't know about me. You've never known. I know that. Mother told me you didn't. You see, my grandparents took my mother off to Europe. They were the villains of the piece, I suppose. You look just like Anne. Just the way she looked when I knew her. Mother died a year ago. I should have warned you that I was coming here. This isn't fair. I know. But I didn't know how. I mean, I couldn't think of what to write or how to put it in a phone call. It's okay. This is fine. I mean, there's no right way to do this, huh? <sighs> you know, one day we were a couple of kids madly in love and the next day she was gone. Nobody told me where. She just disappeared. You don't have to explain, really. Mother told me everything. There's so many things I want to ask you. Likewise. Hello? Hi, Belle. Oh, ask her if she knows where Mom is. No, she's not here. I'll tell her you called. Bye. Did your mother happen to tell any of you guys what time she'd be home? If she did, I wasn't paying attention. She missed a couple of appointments today. Where do we start? We've got time. Can't find Gary. Can't find Laura. Abby's being Abby. Who else can I call? You know, I think I'm going to take a ride out to Lotus Point. What for? The security guards know that we're looking for her. If she shows up, they'll call. Yeah, well, I just want to look around myself. I'll go with you. Mike, stick around for the phone, will you? And listen. Show Paige your room. You bunk in with Eric for a while, okay? Oh, I have a hotel room. Do you? Hotel room? Well, forget it. We may have just met, but no daughter of mine is going to visit and stay in a hotel room. So make yourself at home. We'll get your bags in the morning. I'm sorry to run out like this. Oh, I understand. You must be really worried about your wife. Karen's okay. I'm sure of it. It's an intense summer romance. They fell in love. My grandparents hated him. Nobody hates Mac. It was a class thing with them. Mac was very working class, so they made it hard for them. I mean, Mac had to get one of his friends to go and pick Mom up for a date. That's terrible. Yes, but to Mom, it just made it even more wonderful. They were truly star-crossed lovers, like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Mother was very romantic. Grandmother suspected that Mother was pregnant before Mother did. So when Mother found out, Grandmother was ready and whisked her off to Spain. So Mac never knew? No. Until now. What a story. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Mac, any... No, she hasn't. I will. I'm not going any place. All right. Okay. This is getting scary. Michael, I think I should go back to my hotel now. Oh, but Max said that you should really... I know, but I'll come back when your mother's here. Would you call a taxi for me, please? This is best, really. This is not a good time for a reunion.
We got a call coming in. Hello? Hi, Eric. It's Paige. How you doing, Paige? Has your mother shown up yet? No. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I really am. You know this woman? It's my daughter. Paige. Hi. Listen, I really don't like the idea of you alone in a hotel. I didn't know your father had a daughter. He didn't either. Oh, I don't want to be in the way. Where'd she live? And how'd she know your mother's missing? Hey, my daughter, man. Paige, I don't want you in a hotel. I'm gonna get hold of Peggy and uh, my secretary, and she'll help you find a nice place to live in a nice neighborhood, and uh, Eric and, and Michael can take you around. I don't want you spending all kinds of money on taxis going all over the place. We've got to get you settled, and we can spend some time together, okay? I want you to come over here and, and meet Karen, and, and, uh, and when will I see you? Tomorrow. Maybe you'll have heard from Mrs. McKenzie by then. Yeah, tomorrow's okay. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> God, I love this. Don't you love this? I'm actually standing here disappointed that I didn't get a phone call from some jerk. To tell me that he's kidnapped my... I won. I want you to listen to every call. We're going to take every call that comes in here seriously. <laughs> What happened? Your brother doesn't want to listen to crank calls. Mac, it. Look, the guy who kidnapped your mother's sick. Hey, hi, Paige. Hi. Hi. Have you heard anything? No. Well, I brought breakfast. Oh, that's great. What happened? Oh, well, Mac was upset. They had an accident. God, I'm perfecting the art of always showing up here at the wrong time, aren't I? No. Well, I can't really stay, but as long as I'm here, I may as well help you clean this up. Oh, I almost forgot again. I brought this over the other day, and I forgot to leave it. It's Mac and my mother, when they were dating. Mac looks so different. Well, he's young. <laughs> wow, your mom. Won't he be angry if he finds out you cut school? So he'll be mad. I, I just couldn't stay there. I know that feeling. Do you ever wonder what it'd have been like if Mac and your mother had stayed together? Yeah. I think about it all the time. What about your father? The man you thought was your father. What was he like? My mother never should have married him. So why did she? Her parents forced her to. Mac wasn't good enough for them. So they found a man whose only qualification for marriage was a third-rate title. I didn't know that kind of thing still happened. <laughs> you don't know my grandparents. Well, your mom could have gotten a divorce. If she could have. My grandparents would have cut her off without a penny. So what'd she do? She became what the magazines call Jack Better. A different party in a different city every week. And then she died. You know, I know this sounds terrible. And I'm sorry. But in a way, you're lucky. Well, at least you know. With my mom, I feel so helpless. What well, must be awful for you? I'm for Mac. First my mother, now
Thanks. What are you doing here? I was going to try and talk you into a little exercise. Something healthy to eat. I'm glad you're taking care of yourself. Why is that you? I'm okay. Okay. Max has been wondering why you haven't been coming by the house more. Oh. It just turned out to be a bad time for me to show up. You know, with your mother missing and all. Yeah. I, I mean, it is a lousy time. But you're always welcome around the house. Well, thanks. I prefer meeting you here. I'm just not comfortable around my father yet. Would you mind my meeting you away from the house? No, I don't mind. I know I'll get used to him. It just takes time. My mother told me it took her a while. But why do you act like that? He was uptight about her money. Or the family money. But that couldn't have been their last date. I'm living proof it wasn't. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go. Uh. I really like talking to Michael. I'll see ya. It's not okay. You haven't even touched your lunch. And neither of you. I'm really screwing this up. Hey, I'll eat if you will. <laughs> it's a deal. Okay. You're so pretty. And you remind me so much of your mother. I thought I'd never love anybody again. And I didn't. Not for a long time. Oh, I was concerned about you. I just got off the phone with Mac, and he said that you had, you had a cold and you were staying home from school. Oh, well, I'm not really sick. I just couldn't handle class today. Mac's dad sent you flowers? Max said his dad hasn't remembered his birthday in 25 years, but for mom, flowers. What, no gift? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Paige. Paige. Paige Matson, Karen McKenzie. Hi, Paige. It's, it's really a pleasure meeting you. I've heard so much about you. I'm glad to see you all right. Oh, come here. See, you don't uh, have to worry about my mom. Uh, Michael. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, you'll explain it after dinner. Let's eat. What does your mother think of me? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure she likes you. I don't think she does. Of course I do. I said, don't ask me why. Mom's not the type of person to hide her feelings. If she didn't like you, I'd know it. She is not going to criticize Mac's own daughter to his face. You're paranoid. I'm... I'm nervous. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Everybody likes you. Everybody? You know what I wish? I wish we could lose your bodyguard. And you know alone If we can't shake him, at least we can torment him. Uh, yeah, well, he'll think. I know. 
Here, try these on. This will look much better with that shirt. I don't even know if I can afford the shirt. The price is here. Don't be crass. I'm buying. Oh, I know you're not. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's your choice. You can try them on and get the size right, or you can let me guess your size and probably get it wrong and have to exchange them. Paige. I think I am entitled to buy you a gift if I feel like it. Please put them on. Michael, you are about to insult me, and besides, I need your pen. I wonder what he thinks we're up to. Sometimes I wonder the same thing. And what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Oh, very cute, Michael. Yeah, well, I don't think cute is what I'm really going after. Oh, I don't think you have much of a choice. <laughs> It? I think so. <laughs> Paige, I've never seen anybody spend money the way you do. You never met my mother. And don't forget your package. I won't. I just feel funny about it, though. I mean, it's not my birthday or anything. Well, gifts for no reason are the best. I guess. I wonder who won the election. I'll turn on the TV and see. Oh, that's all right. I'll find out when I get home. I gotta get going. Why? Why? Yes, why? Why do you have to get going? Why do you always have to get going when we're alone together? We've been alone together all day. You know what I mean. I thought we were friends. We are. Oh, outside. In a park, in a store, at your house. But here, when we're alone, do I make you uncomfortable? Yes. I told you, Michael, what you're feeling, it's okay. But your father and my mother are married. You and I are not related. I know, but it's still confusing. I've never felt the way I feel around you. Happy, you know? We have such a great time together. And talkative. Sometimes I hear myself talking to you. Going on and on about something, just talking. So far, you're describing a very nice friendship. It's not. It's not nice. Because those good and friendly feelings always turn into something else. They turn sexy. <laughs> they... Is that so bad? No, sexy isn't bad. Sexy is fine. But this... This is more than sexy. I'm not sure what it is. And I'm having a little trouble explaining it. That's all. Look, this is really embarrassing me. I've got to get going. I'll call you tomorrow. Michael. Your gift? Look, Paige. I really am sorry.
guys met? No. Oh, well, this is my cousin, Olivia, and this is Mac's daughter, Paige. Hi. Hello. Well, can I get you guys something? Uh, oh, no, thanks. No. I'd love something cold. Okay. Okay. Boring. What do you think of Peter Hollister? Not much. I don't think he deserved to win. Just because he beat your father? My stepfather. No. I just think he's slime. Well, he's he's cute slime. State senator elect slime. Ah. <laughs> um. I got some stuff here that would make this party really interesting. Want some? No, thanks. I don't do drugs. I think they're stupid. Honey. Aren't you going to introduce me? I'm Paige Matheson. Are you? For heaven's sake, you're Mac's daughter. I'm Abby Ewing, Olivia's mother. I know. Is she showing you a good time? Oh, yes, it's a great party. Well, you don't have a drink. Would you like one? Oh, thank you. I don't drink. Uh, she means soda or something. Michael's getting it. I know what you're thinking. I hope it's not obvious to the rest of the world. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Mr. McKenzie. You guys having a good time? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Well, good. Mwah. You look real cute, honey. As a matter of fact, I don't know who said it first, because we're all in agreement. We want you to come live with us. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, tell him thanks, and thank you. Well? Oh, I don't want to be in the way, Mrs. McKenzie. Karen, and you're not. Oh, I don't want him to feel any obligation to me. Oh, he doesn't feel an obligation. He really wants to get to know you. And so do I, and so do Eric and, and Michael. Oh, I'd like that as well. Good. But I'm so used to living alone. I think I'd rather stay here. Oh, well, we're just worried about how you're going to get along. Oh, please. I never even considered asking you for financial support. But this place must be costing you a fortune. Before Mother died, she left me a very generous trust fund. Money's not a problem. Mm. Oh, uh, that's very nice. Well, Mother was good at planning ahead. Mother was... Well, Mother was a good person. I'm sure she was. And I'm sure she'd be very, very proud of you. Thank you. Hey, Mike. I thought you said nobody would be home for another two hours. He's not supposed to be home this early. Uh, you think he'll tell your parents? Nah. 
I think I better go, Michael. Why? He's just my brother. He doesn't care. I've got to go. Coming here was not a good idea. again or I may just take my business to another bank. <sighs> Hello. Oh, oh Max bring in my ba bags. but I think we've just about got it. Oh, haven't we, Belle? Belle? Yes, Mama, I think we just about have. Hun, could you get that coffee pot, please? Of course. Um, Take this for your pretty little fingers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great night, wasn't it? I loved it. I wish Eric were there. <laughs> yeah. Michael? Yeah. Well, here's your shampoo. Oh. Thank you for letting me borrow it. Sure. Good night. Good night, Mom. I just want you to see this. It's come in this morning. I'm so proud of this. Oh, yeah? Yep. Third place. In what? The Governor's Interagency Invitational. <laughs> Hot stuff. Very impressive. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> now, my dear Paige, one more thing. Yes? If ever you need anything, at any time, if you need anything like money, ask me. Well, thanks for the offer, but... The hotel called and your check bounced. Oh, that's no big deal. No big deal. Paige, $2,324.18. That's a big deal to me. I just meant I'll take care of it. Will you? Well, it's just that it took longer to transfer money from one of my European accounts. That's all. Oh, yes, but of course. <laughs> I'll take care of it. You promise? Yes. Don't forget, I want you to call me, ask me. Yes, sir. You promise? Yes. Well, thank you for lunch. Thank you. Next time it's my treat. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars? It's worth twice that much. I'm sure you're convinced it is. Thank you. Oh, you finished them all in one day? Yeah, all of them. Oh, uh, well, all in one hour. Just about. Uh, well. You know, I think if I lived here, I'd be 40 pounds heavier. How you doing? Hi. Oh, well, I'm just glad you like them. Love them. <laughs> well, I made some pecan sandies for you. They're terrific. Oh, thank you. Well, my mother always said, don't return an empty bowl. Well, <laughs> that was very sweet of you. Well, I hope you like them. Well, I'm sure I will. Mac, you got a minute? Yeah, sure. All right, I, I'm going home. Good night, everybody. Night. See you later. <laughs> oh, Next wait, time, why don't you ask? Wait a minute. I, I, guys, I, I don't know what's eating you, but... Oh, well, Mac's gonna be right back. Oh. I'm heading up for bed, unless there's anything I can do for you. No, honey, thanks. All right, good night, then. Paige. I haven't had a chance to properly welcome you. 
Oh, I feel right at home, really. Well, I, I just wanted to say welcome. Oh, you shouldn't have. Open it. It's a robe. Oh, well, thank you. I hope it fits. Oh. I brought you an extra pillow and a blanket. Oh, you didn't have to go to all that trouble. Oh, well, uh, no trouble. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you for lending me that book, Michael. Oh, anytime. Good night, Mom. Good night. Good night, Mrs. McKenzie. Good night. Oh, look at this. All right. It's this a is not my birthday, yeah. <laughs> it's a major gift. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at oh, it was on sale. That's light. Oh, I never brought oh, a house gift great. to my new home. <laughs> it's it's very Let's extravagant, Paige. Well, it's a special yes, occasion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Beautiful. Uh, can I help you get dinner ready? That's great. Oh, yeah. I guess so. Uh, Michael, would you get your uh, science project off the table? Uh, hey, Eric's not coming home for dinner tonight. He's got a date. I'll be right back. That's great. That's really nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I do. I got it especially for you. <laughs> Thank you. Where'd you get the money for it? Oh, I sold a family heirloom. Yeah. Well, <laughs> stop with the gifts, will you? Okay. I'll get it. I'll help carry in the kitchen. Mm. Oh, I forgot the... the... <laughs> oh, which dishes? Oh, uh, here. Why don't we use these? Okay. All right. Oh, it smells. It smells good, doesn't it? Mmm. Paige, you, um... You don't have to buy us presents, you know. Oh, I know I don't have to. I just wanted to. You're living with us. You're one of us. You don't have to prove anything. Oh, I'm not trying to prove anything. Well, maybe I am. It means a lot to me to fit in. And I just want everything to be perfect. It's just gonna take some time, you know. I, I, I promise you, it's, it's going to be fine. Is Mac glad I showed up? Are you kidding? Of course he is. I mean, he was a little shocked, I and mean, we all were, but that's, that's just to be expected, isn't it? Oh, you've all been so nice to me. Well, we're happy to have you here. Well, thank you, Karen. I needed to hear that. Paige, well, I, I want you to know that I, I'd like you to come and talk to me whenever you'd care to. You know, woman to woman or whatever. Okay. Well, we better get this dinner on the road. Our guys are waiting.
Thank you for all your help. Oh, anytime. What's a friend for? You know how to drive. Now it's just a matter of practice. Your car drives great. Well, Karen got it for me. It's from Knott's Landing Motors. Oh, it was so nice of her and Mac to invite me to stay there with them. Oh, and Karen did the same for me. You stayed there? Uh-huh. Why? Oh, well, it's a long story, but my mom and I had a little trouble at that time. But what made it even tougher was that they both do not get along. Karen and your mom? Uh-uh. Well, we're both lucky to have your Aunt Karen as a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Do you play? Oh, I hated to practice. Oh, I love piano music. It's so romantic. Oh, I wish I could play like this. <laughs> it's just a matter of practice. <laughs> where all this pretty music was coming from. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Ewing. Uh, don't stop. It's lovely. All right. How about some lunch for you girls? And then... <laughs> oh, hi. 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 How was it? How's the movie? PG. PG. Parental guidance. <laughs> Good night. Uh, Good night. Night. Good night. Night. We'll be right up. Paige. Oh, I was just making some tea to help oh. me sleep. I'm wide awake. So am I. Would you like some? Yeah, please. I hope you don't mind me making myself at home. Of course not. This is your home. Oh, you all have made me feel so welcome. I'm so grateful to you and Mac. Mm. And Michael's been fabulous. He's so sweet. Yes, he is. And he's still young. And very naive. Paige. I saw you in bed with him last night. The gentlest thing I can say is... I don't think it was a good idea. You're right. It wasn't. It's just that... Well, no, you're right. I'm sorry. Well, when I got here, Mac was so preoccupied with finding you. Eric buried himself in his work. But Michael... Oh, he was so lonely. So I spent with time with him, you know, to, to distract him, to keep him from going crazy with worry about you. And we went out. We talked a lot. And we became friends. It just happened. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. thing that I ever wanted to do was to hurt you or Mac. <sighs> no, we weren't in love. Wasn't love. Wasn't? It's over between my and me. Does Michael know that? Well, he understands. And Good. he agrees. Good. Because I didn't think it was healthy. Well, we're comfortable just being friends. I only hope that one day I'll be lucky enough to find the kind of relationship with a man that my mother had with you. Well, we were young. Very young. I know all about Mother and you. I found this with her things after she died. She wrote it after I was born. 
she never mailed it. Well, thanks for all. So that's a carry. Because it has to be. I love you, Paige. I love you. Michael, you're sweet. I don't want to see you get hurt. But I don't want to upset your mother any more than she already is. Mom? It's because of Mom? She wants what's best for you. Did she ask you to stop seeing me? I happen to agree with her. What the hell with Mom? Michael, I promised her I wouldn't. Say the secret void and win a big prize. Michael, what would your mother think if she saw us now? The secret void begins with a K and ends with an S. Kansas. Ah, close, but no cigar. I give you another hint. Stop it. Hey, nobody said we couldn't say goodnight. Good night. So, we'll talk about it in the morning, okay? Yeah. Good night, Karen. Good night. Good night, Michael. Good night. Good night, Michael. Yeah. How about a movie? Michael. Just a movie. Michael, we can't do this. As friends, not a date, just a movie. Tomorrow night? As friends? Tomorrow night. Great, honey. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're really wired, aren't you? Oh, well, just excited, you know, kind of excited. <laughs> well, I knew you could do it. Oh, thanks to Paige. Thank you. <laughs> I guess that wasn't part of the test, huh? Oh, thanks. <sighs> I uh, don't think we've ever met. Peter Hollister. Oh, well, I'm Paige Matheson. Call me Peter. I wonder if Michael knows how to do this. I don't know. I'm just grasping at straws. Where is your... He's at the movies with friends. Driving. Towards your apartment? 
We had a date. Oh, I know, Michael. Well, I tried to call you at the theater, but, but all I got was a recorded message. I'm really sorry. Was the movie good? I didn't go. Oh, you should have. Well, I'm really sorry, but I didn't have any fun either. I was stuck at the telex office for hours taking care of some stupid business transactions on the continent. In the middle of the night? Oh, well, it was the time difference. Oh, those European banks are horrible. I hate them. Oh, you're not mad at me. No, I'm not mad. Come here. How can I be mad at you? I love you. No, Michael, stop. Paige, you're all I ever think about. All I want to do is be with you all the time. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Paige. Look, Michael, no. No, not here, not in this house. But I love you. Look. We can't live in the same house as my father and your mother and have that kind of relationship. We just can't. <laughs> That's so pretty. Oh, it was mother's. I know, I sent it to her. This one? Yeah. Are you sure? Does it say A.W. on the back? Well, yes. And but... Winston. I sent that to her while she was still at Winston. It's the first time I knew she got it. Let's sit down. So, they forwarded that after all, huh? I guess they forwarded all my letters because none of them were ever returned. I always wondered about that. Well, my grandparents wouldn't let her write to you. No, oh, I know what the Winstons could be like. <laughs> Paige, you don't think that your mother could sneak one letter past the parents if she really wanted to? Her parents were awful, Mac. You can't blame her for the way they acted. I'm not blaming her. I'm not, no. But in the letter that you gave me, it sounds like she blamed me for not finding her. And she had to realize I had no way of finding her. Well, maybe she was depressed when she wrote that letter. You believe I tried everything I could to find it, don't you? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Hello? This is Russell Winston. Returning Karen McKenzie's phone call. Hello? Is this Karen McKenzie? Who is that? Oh, wrong number. Get your own apartment if you're ready for it. Look, I'm going to look for some more apartments tomorrow. Why don't you come with me? Oh, I'd like to, Michael, but I promised to help Val with the twins. I'm going to be busy all day. All right, well, um, I'll look for an apartment you like. It's time to trim okay. the tree. Yep. La, 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 la. Let's go. We're ready. Let's we can do this quick. La, 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 la. Stay. I've got some stuff to do. Oh, come on, Michael. 
We need you. Come on, Mike, grab something. Let's get this on. Here, should we put the lights on the tree? Here, let's put the lights on. Huh? I don't know what Wenceslas. Here we go. Then take my lead. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> when the snow lay round about, did the crisp and deep Brightly shone, shone the moon at night, night though, though the frost, frost was, was cruel. Cruel, cruel. Well, when a the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, they're, they're not. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd be lucky enough to spend Christmas like this. Yeah, we are lucky. This time of year, I always think about what Christmas was like when I was a kid. You know, all my family was together. Aunts and uncles, grandparents. Who was once in anyway? Bet you miss your grandparents, huh? Oh, my family wasn't big on holidays. They weren't more like this. I'm sure they miss you, though. I mean, if I was your grandmother, I'd probably worry about how you were doing. Well, I try to talk to my grandparents at least once a year. They travel a lot. Oh, well, then they probably didn't get my message. What? I called. I, well, I left a message. I thought that... That's why they called here. You told them I was here. Well, no, no, I, I didn't... They called back? Yes. Yes, and I had to talk to them. Why would you do that? Oh, honey, I I just thought... What's the matter? <laughs> I had to talk to them. She made me talk to them. They called her and I had to listen to them again. <laughs> the same old thing. I'm not fit to be their granddaughter. I'm not fit. Oh, they've always hated me, Karen. Hated me. Just because... <laughs> because Mac is my father and they never thought he was worthy of my mother. I'm sorry. And since, since Mother died, they don't even pretend to like me anymore. Oh, God, I'm only hey. in there. Hey! Can't talk now? Right. Well, how about lunch tomorrow? Um, sure. Great. Well, thanks for calling. 